Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Colonial Heights Church. I'd like to start with uh, the 100th Psalm this morning. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is good. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues throughout all generations. Father, thank you for blessing us with the opportunity to, to worship you, to lift up your name, to encourage one another, and to spread the good news about Jesus. In his name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. good morning. Good morning. God is good, can I hear an amen? Amen. 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 First song we're going to sing together is Bless the Lord, O My Soul. Bless the Lord, O My Soul. Oh, my. 
strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel, Lord, to give up I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. Jesus. Yeah. 
Savior displayed on a criminal's cross. And darkness to joy stands till heaven and lost. But then Jesus arose with our freedom in hand. That's when death was arrested and my life began. Oh, your grace so free washes over me. You have made me new now. Life begins with you. It's your endless love pouring down on us. You have made us new now. eternally. Second Timothy chapter 2, starting verse 8, says, Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, descended from David. This is my gospel, which I am suffering, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained. Therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Here is a trustworthy saying, if we died with him, we also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him if we disown him, he will disown us. If we are faithless, he will remain faithful, for he cannot disown himself. What do we need to do to obtain eternal life with Jesus? Remain faithful, be obedient. God is faithful in everything that he has said. His promises he will keep. We may suffer for a while, but remaining faithful will be our victory in Jesus Christ. The promise of being raised just like Christ, just like our Savior was we will be too. As we take the juice and the bread representing Jesus' blood shed for our forgiveness of sins and the bread represents Jesus' body broken for us instead of us being broken. He hung himself on the cross in our place. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that Christ suffered for us, that if we remain faithful and obedient, he will be faithful to us. That just like he was raised, we also will be raised, Father. And we give you thanks for that. Father, we thank you for the promise of eternal life in heaven with you, through Christ, amen.
I'm going to be reading from the book of Acts, chapter 20, talking about Paul's life, being content with whatever he had, whatever circumstance he was in. He worked hard to please God. He worked hard to show others that what a Christian really would be like. You yourselves know that these hands of mine have supplied my own needs and the needs of my companions. In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak. Remembering the words of the Lord Jesus himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Are you satisfied with what you have? Are you longing for more wealth? If you are, the later, longing for more wealth, re-examine your attitude. Focus on what Jesus has said. It is more blessed to give than to receive. We must, as a church, help God's kingdom grow, supporting the needy, supporting the ministries here at church. If you're outside the church, if you're looking at us through the uh, video here, you may consider giving to a church if you are not already giving to help God's kingdom grow, to help those outside of Christ to know Christ. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the showmanship of Paul here, that in everything he did, he remembered the weak. He remembered those outside of Christ. And his message that he gave shows us that we can live eternally in heaven with you, Father. That we can help your kingdom grow by our offerings. Father, we thank you for the gift and the giver. Father, may you bless both to grow your kingdom. For this, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Just a few announcements. It's kind of a theme with me, isn't it? Oh, well. Uh, this next Friday is our next prayer vigil. Uh, Ed will be here at the church from uh, 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. There's a sign-up sheet on the back welcome table there if you'd like to sign up for a time to come and, and pray with Ed. Uh, he might need to leave for a while, maybe need somebody to, to spend time in prayer here while he's gone, something like that. Talk with him about it. But especially... Let's be motivated to prayer by these opportunities. Let's be moved to prayer and uh, be able to, to draw near to him. Um, fasting in February, we've talked about that the last number of weeks. And uh, if you got the church paper, you've got my three page article about it. Uh, what's God doing in your life? How is he helping you by the challenge what is he showing you that you need to let go of in your life, even for a short time, so that you can be closer to him? This is my prayer for this congregation and for many others as well. It's an opportunity the world over. Now, we know that not everybody can go without food. Uh, sometimes diabetics are in a position where they just can't do that. But there are lots of other things that might be hindering our walk with the Lord and the changes that he wants to bring about in us. Uh, that's, uh, th those are the announcements. Anything else that, uh, that needs to be said? Yeah, Mike. Uh, I just wanted to say, you know, in Ephesians, the last thing we read was, uh, be filled with everything in every way. And then you tie in the second Peter thing, uh, the divine power gives us everything. Yeah. You know, the second yeah. song he sang was, uh, he's our all in all. 
Yes. Yeah, yeah, all in all, it's a great song and, and fit in with what we're talking about. Now, an interesting thing about that is we're out at nine o'clock or thereabouts praying and they were in here practicing. And as they were singing all in all, I found that those words were in my prayer. So it just kind of matched with what Sharon and John were singing. Uh, God ministers to all of us in different ways. Well, thank you, everyone. And, and uh, hopefully we'll see you Wednesday in Bible study and, uh, and next week. Uh, by the way, look around. If there's somebody that, that you miss, please give them a call. Send them a card. Do something to show that, uh, that uh, God is, is still loving them and caring about them. Thanks so much.